So you're probably all sitting there wondering why exactly do we have some Noctua giant 200 millimeter fans and I'm getting ready to tell you. So this video, today's video idea was brought to you by you guys. So back in the video where I had the 280 millimeter AIO and I covered it with a bunch of Noctua 40 millimeter fans, somebody commented and said, you should do the same with a smaller radiator and kind of do the opposite. You should do big fans on a smaller radiator. And I was like, you know what? I like your style. So that's exactly what I did. I went into SolidWorks and I threw up some brackets that'll take that 200 millimeter fan down to a 220 millimeter fan and allow us to bolt two of these things side by side on a 240 millimeter radiator and we're gonna see how that performs versus you know Noctua's A12 X25 on the same rad so you might be thinking why exactly would you do this um, really no reason but you know there there might be something to it because this fan is relatively quiet in and of itself I mean it spins really quickly though 2000 rpms but when you compare it to something like this that spins at 800 rpms this thing sounds like a lawnmower. I'm not even gonna, I'm not lying to you. This, this thing is almost silent, but it's still able to move a lot of air because it's so giant. So maybe, you know, if we can funnel all that air into this radiator, we'll get the same temperatures. And then obviously, yeah, you'll have a hard time putting this in any case, but say you built your own case, you might be able to incorporate this design into some sort of industrial look. It's a lot of brown, but other than that, I think a PC kind of built around this as like a giant scoop or an intake would look kind of cool, but we're gonna need to see how it performs when you stick it on a tiny little radiator in comparison. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna see how, we'll see how the airflow looks with our anemometer, and then we'll see how the temperatures look when it's mounted up. So here we go. All right, so we're set up with the, with the big guy here, the 200 millimeter, let's see exactly what it scores in comparison to the uh, A12X25. So looks like we're sitting right around 3.1, 3.2. Pretty close to what this thing was. Um, 2000 RPMs versus 800. But the big difference here is, I mean, you can't even hear this. I mean, this is not even a loud fan, but compared to this one, I mean, all I can hear is the, the freewheeling anemometer blades. This thing is literally silent. Just for comparison, just we'll take a listen to this fan as it's running full speed, and then we'll listen to the uh, A12X25. Because if you use one of these fans, you know that it's not the loudest fan in the world, but I think you'll be shocked by how much louder it is compared to that one. Uh, so welcome back. It's actually been about a day. So as you can see, everything has changed. I've changed the whole setup of the room. I'm using a different mic now because it, let's be honest, the wireless mic that I have is garbage. So we're going to be using um, a shotgun mic now. Hopefully this setup makes things easier to, you know, basically the, the idea here is to make things easier to set up and tear down versus, you know, having to move a desk and then kind of everything crowded. So everything's against this one wall now. And if it sounds better, let me know if it looks like poop. Let me know. Just let me know what you think. But anyway, we're back and I still have the 200 millimeter fan set up on my custom loop. So I'm using the EK uh, Performance 240 and I ran the test basically 30 minutes of Prime 95 on this custom loop with the A12X 25s and then 30 more minutes after everything cooled down and you had time to settle and then 30 more minutes with the 200s and then I compared basically how they both manage to keep this 240 millimeter radiator cool. And if we look at the numbers, it's kind of what we would expect based on what we saw from the airflow test. So after 30 minutes, the A12 X25s had a, well, let's start out with, they had an idle temperature of 33.4. We saw a max temperature of 63, and then an average of 54.9. For the A20 or the 200 millimeter fan, we saw an idle temperature of 34.9 and max of 64 and an average of 56.4, so yes, it did worse, but not really too much worse. But the biggest thing about this setup, yeah, it's really hard to package inside of a case, but if you could do it, this is really quiet. Like the A12X25 is known for being a very high performing quiet fan, but when compared to these, it sounds like it's running a lawnmower. Like just listen to the A12X25s under at full speed, and then listen to the A20s. And I'm telling you, that doesn't really even do it justice. It sounds way louder than it actually is. I mean, if you had a case that had a 200 millimeter, you know, fan location, this is the fan to get because it's so 
so quiet and it pushes so much air because how big it is. And if you had like your own case or you built your own case or you somehow had a way to pipe this air into a case, other than it's, it's a lot of brown, but if you could do it, this is a good fan to pick because even at full speed, it is just so quiet that I think I want to incorporate it in a build somehow down the road. But anyway, this was your guys' idea. You want to see how this giant fan performed on a 240 millimeter radiator. And if you have any more ideas, remember, make sure to leave me a comment down below because I'm always looking. And if you got something good, I'll print it out and give it a shot. But thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.